Approximately 200 people gathered in front of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office on Sunday in protest of a recently approved plan that would forcibly displace tens of thousands of Bedouin citizens of Israel. Known as the Prower Report, the plan would forcibly evict 30,000 Bedouins living in so-called unrecognized villages throughout the Negev Desert and relocate them into government planned townships. About 90,000 Bedouins, or half of the total Bedouin population in the Negev, live in villages that are unrecognized by the state. While most of these villages have existed since before the creation of the State of Israel, they don't receive basic services such as water, electricity, paved roads, or health care in schools. The government planned towns also suffer from a systematic lack of services, don't take into account Bedouin culture or way of life, and have the highest unemployment rates in all of Israel. In a statement released Sunday, the Israeli Prime Minister's office argued that the plan aims to better integrate Bedouins into Israeli society and is designed to reduce the economic and social gaps between the Bedouin population in the Negev and Israeli society as a whole. The Israeli government also says it will provide financial compensation to those who are displaced. This promise, however, has provided little comfort to those living in Bedouin communities that will soon be uprooted. احنا بنقول وبنأكد الحكومة أن بنرفض رفض بات وقطعا كل خطة اللي هدفها ترحيلنا من أراضينا لو أن في شوية منطق وعدل في برافر ولجنة برافر كان اعترفوا أن في حقنا التاريخي اللي هو بتمثل كياننا ووجودنا قرانا موجودة قبل قيام دولة إسرائيل أحنا مواطنين الدولة يجب على الدولة أن تنظر إلينا بمنظار صحيح بمنظار إيجابي وليس بمنظار سلبي أحنا نطالب بأبسط الحقوق نطالب بمأوى ببيت في قرانا the refusal of the Israeli government to take Bedouin considerations into account or open a dialogue with Bedouin communities is what motivated many to participate in the protest on Sunday. If you don't uh, come and, uh, and say what you want, nobody will listen to you. So we have to come here to Jerusalem and talk uh, very high. If, if Israel uh, named herself as... Uh, in the Middle East, so it has to be uh, talking with, uh, with the citizens. On Sunday, the Israeli government established the Negev Bedouin Community Status Authority to implement the Prower Report. Draft legislation based on the report will also soon be presented to the Israeli parliament for approval. Despite this, Bedouin communities in the Negev say they will continue fighting against their forced displacement and have vowed to remain on their ancestral lands. لا يمكن بأي شكل من الأشكال أن نقبل بترحيلنا من أراضينا مهما كلفنا الثمن وأنا أدعو كل الجماهير العربية كل أصحاب القرى الغير معترف بها بالثبوت والصمود على أراضيهم كما يحصل الآن في قرية العرقيب التي تم هدمها منذ 27-7-2010 إلى 7-9 2011, 29 